Raise your hand if you've ever wanted to throw your computer out the window because of Selenium test failures. I knew it. Today, I want to share the brutal truth about why Selenium is making your life hotter than it needs to be and a solution you should check out if you haven't tried it already. So here are my five top reasons engineers struggle with implementing a test suite using Selenium and the one thing you can do right now to fix it. But first, how do we get here? Well, I've spoken with a lot of organizations and they tell me they chose Selenium for testing because it's a free open source tool that provides robust automation capabilities for web application testing. Selenium is flexible with multiple browsers, programming languages, and frameworks, making it easy to integrate into any existing workflows and CI CD pipelines, facilitating continuous testing. And while Selenium itself is free, keep in mind that setting up a comprehensive automated test suite is full of potential pitfalls and hidden costs. All right, so let's highlight the top five reasons you're probably struggling with implementing a test suite using Selenium. Number one, development skills required. While Selenium simplifies web testing, it demands strong programming skills to write robust reusable scripts especially when handling dynamic interactive web elements. And to make matters worse, QA resources are often handed a programming in 21 days book and expected to write effective test cases. And this often leads to the need to hire more expensive skilled developers to create test cases, which in turn leads to a higher level of resource turnover. Believe me, I saw this myself every day when I worked for a large enterprise. Number two, not thread safe for parallel execution. Selenium WebDriver instances are not inherently thread safe. A WebDriver instance maintains a direct connection to a browser session. In sharing it, data and variables across threads can lead to synchronization issues. This can result in issues like race conditions or timing of an action causing erratic behavior, crashes, or missed interactions. Number three is Selenium tests can be hard to maintain and reuse. Selenium tests can be challenging to maintain and reuse due to several inherent complexities and limitations in browser automation. Things such as frequent application changes, synchronization issues, and a lack of modularity become intensified as most human resources are not trained in proper design patterns and development concepts such as separation of concern. Number four, you need to spend a lot of time on object recognition. As an automation engineer, when I use Selenium, a significant portion of my time, often in excess of 70%, was dedicated to object recognition. The process of identifying and locating elements on a web page to interact with the task of identifying stable locators and handling responsive design can be a challenge and can lead to flaky tests and untrustworthy results. In number five, this will drive you mad. Handling random pop-ups in Selenium can be challenging due to the unpredictable nature of these pop-ups and limitations in Selenium's interaction model. Random pop-ups may appear various times during the user journey, often triggered by events such as page load or scrolling. And managing timing and synchronization becomes difficult as test needs to continually check for the presence of pop-ups and respond if it appears. This continuous check-in for the pop-up can slow down tests and introduce more code complexity. So if you made it this far in the video, you probably have already experienced these five roadblocks. So what do you do about it? So let me show you the one way to solve not one, not two, but all five of these Selenium issues. Let's check it out. So in this previous video, I share with you a solution called Alchemy. So let's have a look at how Alchemy helps solve these issues by helping you generate better Selenium tests. So the first one is to address issues with developer skill sets Alchemy employs a simple drag and drop interface with record and playback capabilities. QA engineers are no longer burdened by syntactical complexities and can now focus on what they do best, testing their applications. So as you can see, tests are created using a simple user-friendly test language that all members can read and understand. It's important not to assume simplicity comes with a lack of power. Engineers can define multi-tiered conditional execution for more complex tests or even loop over data in page elements. Experienced developers still have the ability to write code as they see fit by the way of creating custom actions and even custom templates 
allowing for a complete control over the generated SLAM codebase. It also solves problem number two, because by default, all tests created in Alchemy are inherently thread safe. Engineers can concentrate on test coverage without worrying about test scale, as all tests are executed across all browsers in parallel using intelligent algorithms that ensure that all browsers are used efficiently. When working with data sets, users can also employ lockable records. This ensures that multiple threads of execution never use the same piece of data. Lastly, if you have a test that needs to run over multiple sets of data, you can specify a loop data reference and those will run in parallel over the given device set. All right, so now that you know your Selenium tests are thread safe and can execute effortlessly at scale, Alchemy templating infrastructure ensures that tests are generated in a reliable and reproducible way. The combination of various weight algorithms and the retry logic in the generated code minimizes the risk of false failures due to temporary problems leading to more stable and reliable tests. Additionally, the use of tiered object identifiers further enhances the test stability. Engineers can also create reasonable functions for repeatable actions that can be used across multiple tests. The same drag and drop technology can be used when creating these functions, drastically decreasing maintenance time. And this approach definitely helps you with the issue three that we talked about earlier. Number four is object identification in Alchemy is a breeze with a simple point and click. A list of locators are generated for the selected elements ordered by relevance. At runtime, multiple locators are often used to ensure the correct object is located, increasing testability. Engineers can also extract all relevant elements on the page with a click of a button and can even fine tune the selection algorithm as they see fit. Using Alchemy will allow you to generate your tests with the page object model complete with self healing capabilities. And it also helps in number five with pop-ups. Let's face it, pop-up ads are a nuisance regardless of the task you're doing, but they're even more problematic during automation. Alchemy's error handling infrastructure allows you to find a list of steps that run whenever another step fails automatically. If any of the steps are successful, then the failing step will execute again and continue on. And an engineer can define an error handler for various causes that run on demand, eliminating the complexity of checking for pop-ups at various checkpoints. Now, your Selenium tests will no longer suffer from flakiness due to pop-up ads and cookie requests. As a bonus, I also want to go over how you execute your tests as the speed of execution all your tests often depends on your infrastructure. Supporting a browser environment and setting up your own can be a daunting task. So this is another killer feature of Alchemy. It is the Alchemy Gridworks, which offers scalable parallel execution, providing access to multiple browser instances simultaneously. This enables you to significantly reduce the time required to complete your entire test suite. Let Alchemy help you generate Selenium tests just like a seasoned pro. So are you ready to stop fighting with your test automation? Download Alchemy free today and join the thousands of QA engineers who are already saving hours of development time. So click the link down below to try it for yourself and start your flaky free testing journey today. So if this was helpful, why not share it with a friend and also like and subscribe to my channel to never miss another automation awesomest session. And as always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers.